Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams. And with Wimbledon only a week away, we have some big names that are not playing in this year's tournament. Of course, we know that the Belarusian and Russians can't play, but some players have pulled out with injury. Let's start with the WTA list. So starting with the women's list of withdrawals, there's lots of names. Starting with Sabalenka, she's not playing. Azarenka, also not playing. Alexandrova, Kazakina, Kudamatova, also not playing. Sasnovic, Pavlyuchenkova, Samsonova is also not playing. All of those players not playing because they're either Russian or Belarusian. We've got Gracheva, Potapova, Kalinskaya, again, all because they're Russian, they're not playing. Svetlina, she's not playing because she's having a baby. Vondrusov is out with injury. Christian is also out with injury. Fernandez, we all know she's out with that foot injury for a few months. Sharif is also out of this year's event. Sophia Kennan, she's also pulled out of Wimbledon. Konju, and also Osaka. Naomi Osaka, the biggest name in the last week to be pulling out of Wimbledon this year due to an Achilles problem. So that's a massive list of players from the top 100 that won't be playing in Wimbledon this year. Jumping over the men's list, and we've got Medvedev. He's not playing. Hashinov also not playing. Federer is out. Rublev's not playing. Harris is out after getting surgery on his arm, so he'll be out for the rest of the year. Avashka, Karatsev also out. Obviously, Zverev is out with that ankle injury. He won't be back for a few months. Nishikori is also out, and Dominic Team is the latest to pull out on the men's side. So some big names and some former Grand Slam champions in Team and Osaka, both missing Wimbledon this year. So there you have it. They are the big names that are not playing this year at Wimbledon, and it's going to be a weird tournament. It's going to be a very interesting event, especially on the women's side, because we've got a lot of players not playing, a lot of contenders as well. The Russians have been a very strong country over the time in the women's tennis, and obviously in the men's tennis too. I mean, Medvedev is having some good form at the moment, and it's not going to count for anything because he can't actually play the big event that he's leading up to with all these matches. So let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon? Do you think any of those players are, would have been a contender? I mean, Medvedev is probably the biggest one for me. Looking at his record over the last couple of weeks, made two finals back-to-back -back on grass. What a shame that he can't play, but let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most out of that withdrawal list?